dwindle in the rain. The spring carnival was coming back to the little town of Cleveland by the sea, and the locomotives of the Normanton and Warwick Railway were very delighted. They were to help with the delivery of carnival rides and attractions to the adjacent station of the carnival grounds. However, on the day before the carnival was set to start, Miss Stacy had other news to bring to them. Morning, everyone. There is a lot of work to get done, especially since a storm is scheduled later today. So, to help with the preparations, the main line has lent us Sparrow. Ugh, a storm is bad enough, but Sparrow, why can't we ever get someone else? I heard that, Rudolph. We should be thankful that we are getting assistance at all. Sorry, Miss Stacy. I know we've had some uh, challenging experience with Sparrow in the past, but we should still be grateful to receive extra assistance. Beatrice, the overpass bridge needs inspection, so I'll need you to take the works train over there for them to check over. Everyone else, normal duties for the day. Hello, Sparrow. Glad you can join us. Hmm. I see they still haven't replaced outdated technology on this little branch line. Glad to see some things haven't changed. The day went on well, with the locomotives working hard to get their jobs completed on time while the weather stayed mostly fine. But by the end of the evening, storm clouds were brewing. Rudolph backed into the sheds just as it started to rain. Phew, I made it. Sparrow wasn't so lucky. I say it once and I'll say it again. These sheds are distasteful. Oh, cheer up, Sparrow. Tomorrow is carnival day. You'll have lots of passengers for a change. Oh, I hope this rain clears by tomorrow. I would hate to see all our work been put to waste. Hmm. Personally, I'd rather get back to my own shed on the main line. Control to Sparrow. I have an urgent special to be taken to Brixton Goods Yards. Could you please head to Normanton to collect it? Oh, I, uh... I'd like to, Miss Stacy, but I... Just cool down my systems for the night. Ah, uh, Rudolph to Miss Stacy. I'll do it for you. Thank you, Rudolph. I'll see you in the morning when you return. <sighs> Just great. I get home nice and dry, and now I have to get soaked. Well, you know what they say. Spring showers make Rudolph cower. Rudolph ignored Sparrow's words and scurried off to Normanton. I thought you said you wanted to get back to the main line. Yes, well, not in this weather. Well, since we have a storm about, who's up for a ghost story? I've got a good one. A long time ago, there was a steam locomotive named Farabella. She was very beautiful, which sadly made her very self-centered. She thought no other locomotive was better than she was. I would always whistle rudely to everyone else in her path. Clear the way! The most important steam engine is coming through. Even if she didn't have the priority. Every driver who had to take her, and even the manager, would speak to her. But she would never listen to them. One stormy night, she was pulling a goods train. She hated them and hated it even more that her purple body was getting soaked. She rudely whistled to the rain. Clear the way! I'm more important than a few drops of rain. The rain pelted harder, but she kept on whistling rudely. Then, it happened. One moment she was on the tracks, the next she wasn't. Her crew thought the tracks were old or had somehow separated, for her wheels were sitting quite neatly between the rails. Well, don't just sit there, get help! 
So her crew left on foot to find a phone. Alone, cold and miserable, she continued to speak rudely to the rain again. Clear the way! You're making me even wetter! The rain pelted harder again. Oh, stop this pelting rain! When the crew returned, they had a terrible shock. For what once stood a big locomotive was now a small toy train. Farabella was so distracted with her argument with the rain, she didn't realize that she was shrinking right on the spot. Until it was too late. What? Oh, please, help! Do something! Anything! I'm sorry! She tried to apologize, but the rain made her smaller and smaller until she disappeared. Ha! Ah, that wasn't very scary. Okay, maybe so. But strange things can happen during stormy weather. Sparrow decided to go straight to sleep. Next morning, the rain had cleared up and the locomotives waited for Miss Stacy. Rudolph hadn't returned. Morning, everyone. Normal schedules for today, but please be careful when going over the overpass bridge. Now, as Rudolph hasn't returned, I'll need you, Sparrow, to pull his first freight train today. Oh, please, Miss Stacy! Can't I pull my coaches and go home? Sorry, Sparrow, but you are still needed here, and this job needs to be done first. No excuses, please. <laughs> Well, 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 if it isn't Mr. High Sprung, trying your luck as a freight train, I see. Hm. You know very well I prefer my streamlined coaches. Now be a dear and go get them for me. Nope. No can do. Bother. Later... When Sparrow approached the overpass bridge and was required to slow down, he noticed a lorry driving along the road. Its tarp wasn't fixed down properly and was flapping about in the wind. As the lorry came closer, the tarp lifted over and Sparrow saw something he couldn't believe. It was Rudolph, but only much smaller. Sparrow was shocked. He screeched to a halt and tried to back up to see the lorry again but the lorry by now had turned a corner and was out of sight of the railway line. The old red kettle was right. Rain can do funny things. Hello, Miss Stacy. Looks like there are lots of visitors to the fairgrounds today. Electra, you won't believe it, but that steamer's story is true. I saw Rudolph and... Sparrow, hold up. Now what are you talking about? I saw him. He was in a truck and... <coughs> ah! There he is! There! Sparrow, calm down. That's not rude. Hello, everyone. I'm back from the main line. But how? I thought... What the... <laughs> 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 oh, Sparrow. As I said, that's not Rudolph. It's a miniature engine for the carnival. Don't tell me you've never seen one before. Well, I... Oh, I've been had. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the efforts of the branch, the spring carnival was a great success. The visitors loved the attractions, with many having a go on the miniature train. Sparrow, on the other hand, thought the idea of a miniature Rudolph to be very silly indeed. If anything, they should have modelled it after me. Eek, eek. 